All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to be doing a Should You Summon for the Ichigo uh, Now and Shun Sui 9th Anniversary Pre-Anniversary Summons. This is not the Anniversary Summons. I saw a lot of people getting confused. This is like a build-up banner. Uh, six. I'm going to say this right now. I think it's going to be a big bad villain. Just my, This is my 9th ninth Anniversary guess because 3rd Anniversary, we had to... Uh, each go around there, but it wasn't the actual anniversary. And then we had Okiora, sixth anniversary. We had a uh, Ichigo, the art book Ichigo. I think it was like a few weeks before uh, for the the art book that was dropping at the time. And then we had Aizen, a solo uh, villain. And now we have this Ichigo that is definitely a anniversary worthy character, and he is not the technical anniversary character. So I think we're getting you, huh? Bing, bang, boom. Hopefully it's an original character. All right. Uh, so for this banner. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I only let one character. Uh, Nanao is a whatever potion character for technique. Uh, whatever. She's a link at this point, to be honest, because we have Halle Bell, or you can use, uh, Gein. I prefer both them over her. Uh, and then Shunsui, looks like he's gonna be a good Nad character for Guild Quest. For Melee Hala Guild Quest, or, no, uh, I think it's Squad Zero Melee, Squad Zero Melee. And then Ichigo just looks like he's going to be the absolutely most insane power character in the entire game. Granted, we don't know what his strong attacks are. Uh, if I see them, uh, by the time I get done uploading this video, I'll put them in the comment section and I'll pin it. Um, I heard that the SA1 is good. That's all I was told because somebody said that there was a leak. They saw the data information. They said the SA1 is good. So that's a good start. Usually most Ichigos get a horrendous SA1. 7th anniversary Ichigo, Quincy Ichigo, 8th anniversary Ichigo, and then I think the most recent one would have been the, uh, what was the amazing SA1 was end of year Tushika Ichigo. So, yeah, um, but this banner is going to be here for a month. There are end of month leaks out, by the way, so if you want to go check that out, go to Reddit or Twitter. Aaron Nero tweeted it out. Uh, I've been spoiled. I will not be doing a prediction video. Uh, everybody got spoiled, essentially. So, if you want to know what it is, uh, it's out there. It's floating about. Go find it. I'm not going to say it in case people don't want to know. Um, but this banner is going to have a choose a new uh, character summon ticket at step 10, 30, and 50. I love this format. This is the best format. I don't think they're going to do this format every single banner. I think this is a very uh, niche thing. But I like it. I like that they're doing it. Uh, and to be honest, all the characters I think are good. Ichigo is just way better. So we'll quickly go through him, and then we'll go through the filler uh, and the actual format, if you are still confused. So for Ichigo, he's a power character, uh, ninth anniversary renewed version, so where you're probably going to get full hollow sometime this year, if I had to imagine. Um, killer, he's going to be a hollow killer, which is like the only thing I hate about his kit, besides him just not having two. But I think people, aren't, they aren't doing two killers that often, because if you drop such an insane character for two weeks, then that's less characters you have to summon for that's just what i imagine is their mindset which fair enough they're a business okay i hate it but fair enough i get it um uh, but hollow is like the worst one so right off the bat if you already have yuha or king do you don't need ichigo unless he's just that goddamn cool for you like for me personally he's my favorite ichigo then you don't really need this ichigo if you have king do or yuha this ichigo might be better than those two possibly but not that much better to where you need to justify to summon unless you're in like an S League guild. Uh, he has the Soul Trait of Team Party Strong Attack Damage plus 20%, which I never even thought of at the time, but people are immediately saying you could put this character on uh, like a useless side character that just buffs your team, like the Swimsuit Jushiro for Ichibe or Toshiro, uh, the Unahana team, put in like Akon or Shinji, because that way they buff up your uh, team party damage, which would be Unahana in that case. Uh, you can put it on any random character besides your main, so that way they still get all their recharge and their full stamina, and you're basically getting another strong attack damage team party buff, which is insane. That's really, really good. It makes me think if we'll ever get team party recharge on a character, I don't think it'll be as... I mean, for Limit Breaker, it might be really good, but you know what I mean. Be interesting to see. Uh, innate skills, he has the the, 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 the best innate skills you could possibly imagine. Uh, innate skills are Sprint plus 3, Long Shred, and Complete Status Immunity. Chef's Kiss, love that. Uh, attainable skills is Havoc plus 20%, Frenzy of 2, Damage to Weaken Enemies, Weaken Defense, Hit Hit Enemy Chance 100%, SP Boost of 100%. I don't know why when I saw this, I was like, 
No way! We already have 120% SP boost characters. Uh, but it's still good, it's still good obviously. It's just for some reason I was like, no way, 100% SP boost, I've never seen that before. We have 120%, Tony, what are you doing? Uh, Berserker at 50%, Bombardment at 1. So his nuke is going to be insane, I'd have to imagine, uh, which makes sense. Finally gets Gatencho, make it insane. Uh, increased status on my chance against Hollows, love that. Mainly going to be a GQ character, kind of hoping he gets a Vortex or something, so that way he can be have a higher chance to proc the SP boost and then be an absolute insane character in IT. Uh, he also has Marauder, and then Strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12%. Um, I'm also going to imagine that this is going to be the Limit Breaker character, since right here he says he's known to be good in the high difficulty Limit Breaker and Go Quest with the Hollow Killer rule, so potentially maybe this will be the only Limit Breaker character, or they'll make one of the swimsuit characters also a Limit Breaker character, because they've made Rangiku a Limit Breaker character multiple times, um, so possibly it could be her. Or one of the swimsuit characters, obviously. Um, now, for Shunsui, he is a boring nag character. Just as for Shunsui Wen, man. We have gotten two characters for Shunsui in the past two years, and they've both been nad boring characters. Um, so he is a melee normal attack damage character, and that's all you really need to know besides he has drain on all the strong attacks, and his SA2 is boost. That's pretty much about it. I like the art, looks really cool. I will say that he has a squad zero killer which is good because i don't think there was a good nad uh, squad zero killer so if you do pull him that's really good he does have a use it's just that it's a very boring character in my opinion uh like the character not the like kit that they gave him uh soul trait is normal attack damage inflicted at full stamina plus 40 percent to be honest i don't like full stamina on nad links because when they run in they get damaged and they lose the full stam then it's like well this is just a useless link i would rather just have uh, I think it's the normal attack damage was 20, and then when you're at full stamina, you get extra 20%. Granted, that was like a resurrection for Soifon, but could have just made it nad 40%. You did not need to make it have to be at full stamina, realistically. Uh, spiritual plus one for the innate skills, guard break, and paralysis duration. Uh, nothing crazy. Attainable skills is long reach, enhancers. Start barrier plus 10, killer effect plus 30 or plus 15 GQ, flurry plus 2, bridge plus 40, poise, booster, and melee damage plus 30. Very nice, very cool. Uh, just a very basic nad character at this point. Like, nothing to say here realistically. Um, and then Ninao. Um, I butchered her kit last night because I had bet him for 22 hours. Um, but she's a ranged strong attack character. She has weakened in all of her strong attacks except for her heal. Or her SA3, which is a heal. So she's kind of like Maruka, but for technique. Um, I was saying she was speed like the entire video. Um, her killer is Sturmrunner, which is yikes. Uh, Soul Trait is speed, Link Slot Potions plus 5, uh, Innate Skills, Sprint plus 1, Guard Break, Havoc plus 20%. So realistically, I think this character is just going to be a Link at the end of the day. Unless she just really like Nanao, obviously. Uh, so she'll be a Link for plus 5 potions right next to Momo, so that'll be plus 10. Uh, and then for our plus 10 Jushro, you'll end up getting plus 20 in total, which is going to be pretty nice. Um, but she has attainable skills of Berserker plus 50, Devastation plus 60, Frenzy of 2, Medic, Speed Drop, a drop plus 30%, uh, Speed Link Slot Potions plus 5, Strong Tag Resonance plus 10% of the Soul Ripper damage, uh, Team Party, Technique, Attribute, Character, Strong Tag Damage plus 20%. I'm really curious if she's going to be better than Jushro, because they're both plus 10 Link Slot characters, so... Just kind of curious which one would be better. I feel it like it might just come down to their strong attacks because I'm not the biggest fan of Jushiro's. Um, maybe she'll have a Vortex or something because she does have status elements. She has weakening, so kind of curious how that's going to go. But uh, yeah, now let's go over the uh, banner format right here. So we're going to have Momo, Grimjo, uh, Dean, Manor Orihime. Uh, Espada, Killer, Aizen, the tea Party, Tea Time, White Day, Aizen, uh, and then Lunar Rukia. All usable characters. They're none of them are like super outdated. Besides like the Nag characters, but obviously they don't they don't age as uh, poorly as SP characters, so it's fine. Him being like three years old at this point, I think. Um, they're all good. We'll go over their kits quickly. Uh, the first step is 50 orbs, second and six is 150, third and seventh is 200, four and eighth is 250, ninth step is 250 orbs, and then at step five is a guaranteed five star character, a featured five star character, so any of the characters up above. Uh, and then step 10 will be free, choose a new five star character summons ticket. So you, 
you, you don't get a single one of these characters in the banner, you go to step 10, you can just outright pick. Boom. Stop right there. Do not go past step 10. Step 10 is the absolute maximum I would go. I don't even recommend going 10 steps, but if you like Mugetsu or you like Nanao or Shansui and you want the characters, go to step 10 and call it. I don't recommend going for dupes. Ichigo is a premium character, so you can easily skip if you only want Ichigo. Um, we have swimsuits coming up in a week or two, most likely. Uh, we are going to have Anniversary on the 23rd of June. Part 2 is going to be the 31st of... Uh, 23rd of July, my bad. 23rd of July, and then the 31st of July. Uh, and then potentially there might be another big thousand butter after that, because I think uh, the end of month after Anniversary, we had Kilge, Bambi, and Ebert. So... Be on the lookout for that. It's going to be Orb City from now on. Um, but yeah, and then step 15 and 25, guaranteed featured 5-star. Step 20, one new 5-star character guaranteed. Step 30, new, choose a new 5-star character, summon the ticket. And then step 35 and 45, uh, one new or one featured 5-star character guaranteed. Step 40, new 5-star character guaranteed. So that's all you have to go to guarantee every, all three of them. And then step 50, choose uh, a new 5-star character, summon ticket insane banner format insane i still think the crown summons is better uh the one where you get like a five star almost every three multis but it's a really really good crown or a really really good format uh, now for momo she is a pretty decent character in gokos because she has the booster and she has the enhancer skills so she's not bad and she won't steal your rng by proccing status summons which i like um She's mainly a droplet character, as you can see by her link, heart droplet drop plus 30%, and then she has an extra 20%, plus a guaranteed 10, so you use this character for an insane amount of droplets. I use her in, I, or in epic raids sometimes, just to farm a lot of droplets, and then get a little bit of potions. Um, not that to say much, she's not bad by any means, she's just a droplet farmer. If you get her, I think she does have value. Yeah, uh, Grimjow is a plus 10 Link Slap Potion character. Outside of that, I don't think he realistically has any use. Uh, he doesn't have any Berserker, which is crazy. That it should be criminal that he can do that. He only has a Frenzy of 1 with an 80% SP boost, and you're just probably never going to proc the SP boost. It's very rare to do it. I don't like his Strong Attack kit either, so it's very awkward. Just not my favorite character. Um, but for what he's used in, which is mainly IZ, I think it's fine. You don't need a lot of damage, but, you know, it is what it is. But he doesn't give, uh, he has Link Slot Potions, but then that's literally it. Only plus 10 Link Slot Potions. No droplets, nothing. So it's like, I think he's like one of my least favorite characters, to be honest, because his kit is just awful. Um, Dean, he's just a good speed Soul Reaper killer. Nothing crazy. He's not bad. He's pretty solid to play. I use him in scroll quest because <laughs> he can read all uh, dodge. So read all affiliation dodge. That's where I use him. So I get my use out of him every week to farm scrolls. Uh, yeah, I like his art. That's pretty much about it. Uh, Man or he made insanely good character. But now with the more recent uh, Nia that we've been getting, she don't she isn't as needed. Um, I find myself using less off killer characters but she still will definitely be useful once i get the brave battles ticket i honestly think i might just end up picking her but i think i'm gonna wait till anniversary to really choose uh because if eighth anniversary each goes on there i want to five five him because i want to five five every single anniversary character uh but yeah uh, she, she's really really good if you don't know what she does uh her killer realistically doesn't matter it's not about her damage it's about her support potential she has the booster skill and the enhancer skill so she has the best boost in the entire game uh, she has multi-barrier and she has shared complete status immunity and she has pretty decent damage when you put her on killer or at least if she's ranged uh put her at a raised gq so uh, my apologies i'm tired uh but yeah she's a, re a really good character nothing to say too much there uh and then we have sosuke aizen the party time or white day aizen uh he's just a really good espada killer for nag gq Really good Nad killer uh, for the Espada GQ, Melee G uh, GQ. I, I think Rukia is better than him, the new Mind one, but you'll probably have more dupes than him th anyway. Um, he is a power attribute, story, permanent, damage plus 20%, Berserker and Bruiser of 50 and 60%. 
Flurry of 1, Killer Effect plus 30 or plus 50 in GQ, Melee Damage plus 10 or 30 in GQ. That's really all I need to know. And then I believe he's immune to the own status on the ground, which is weakening. If he's not, then L, but I'm pretty sure it is weakening. So yeah, really good night character, but outside of that, it's whatever. Uh, and then Rukia, ranged the wrong card, but we have better character we have thousand bug word technique eisen uh but she has berserker booster and enhancer so i believe she has the better boost but eisen just does more damage because the attack boost and whatnot uh she has airline reversal follow-up flurry uh and then range damage plus 10 or plus 30 in gq so yeah she's still good you match her and send her i think she's uh worth using in gq i don't know if she's better than eisen still but she's still good so yeah, that is going to be the banner. As I said, I don't think it's a must summon, but if you like Mugetsu or one of the other two characters, go to step 10, guarantee your character, and then dip, and then probably going to have to skip swimsuits for anniversary, or you summon on swimsuits and skip for anniversary. Either way, let me know down below what you're going to do. Take care, and peace out.